hey guys welcome to rpa feed and in today's video we will be looking at how you can create a dll dotnet dll and use the dll package so we will be writing some custom logic in c sharp using visual studio that's why you can see visual studio 2022 on my screen so i'll provide the link to download visual studio in case you want to try try this out yourself check out in the description for the link to download visual studio it's free and as because it's a community edition so once you have installed visual studio you can launch visual studio and click on create new project while creating new project you need to choose a class library so there are two class library project one of vb and one of c sharp we will go with c sharp next then we will create a name of the project so in this example i am going to show you uh, a basic uh, class library or a basic program to determine even and odd numbers so in automation anywhere we cannot directly uh, determine even and odd uh, right so we are building this uh, uh, custom code in previous versions of automation anywhere like in v11 it was called metabot now we don't have metabot in a360 so it's dll okay so we are building a custom dll here and so uh, this is how you can uh, build your project then write a give the meaningful name and click on next and then you will uh, uh, like like this uh, interface will be shown and you will be taken to this kind of window I have already created this project so that's why I'm not creating again this uh, I just wanted you guys to show um, how you can create a project we cancel this and now we have this um, class file so once you create a new project here you will have a class 1.cs so you can rename that to a meaningful name if you don't want to rename class 1 is also fine so here now we will write the logic so even and odd is my class name let me create one method public boolean boolean because uh, we are returning uh, true or false right is even so this is my function or method name which is going to return true or false so is even it is it should expect one number parameter which is of type integer so it is expecting number which we will be providing through our bot so suppose i am i am sending a number 5 it should give me the output if it is even number then it should give me true uh, if it is odd number it should return false so likewise we will write our logic so if if our number is not equal to 0 and number is divisible by 2 right so in that case we will we'll know that it's a even number rest of for all the cases written false that's it guys this is a small bit piece to determine even and odd number so here what we are doing is we are giving uh, this method an input let's say number 5 number 5 it is not equal to 0 and 5 is not divisible by 2 therefore return false if it is divisible let's say number 4 divisible by 4 return true that means it's an even so we have built our logic now uh, like we have written our logic and we we need to build this solution build solution control shift b and when you build this solution you will uh, a dll will be generated you can copy the path of this dll this will be handy like this will be needed for you to reference it now let's move to our bot editor window i have created a bot with a dll package name and now what I, we can do is we need to type in dll and in dll we need to use these action methods so dll open run function close dll okay so dll open let's choose the session name i am keeping it default 
at the moment and here from the desktop file you can paste your DLL file reference so once you had once you build your DLL uh, like once you build your solution you get the DLL right so on your local drive wherever you have uh, this project uh, reference uh, the physical files are present where from that path you can get your DLL so now run function in run function we have the session name as default and we need to enter these details as per uh, as per the file so namespace the name of the namespace is even odd numbers class name is even odd need to copy paste just to avoid any typos or space white space characters so function name is even uh, is even and then input parameters so here the bot takes the parameter as number let's keep it as int 32 or int anything you can keep from type of int and the number uh, here you can uh, you can create a variable and uh, variableize this uh, we will go with a hard coded value let's say 9 for now for the sake of this demo otherwise what you can do is you can create a variable in your real time scenario this might be a dynamic value uh, maybe coming from another bot or something like that so we can create a variable also here and we can uh, pass that variable as well so um, input let's say uh, input and we can assign a default value let's say 9 and we can pass that over here how to pass here dynamic value simply you need to reference or type that number here so, oh, sorry I need to insert a variable from here input yes close so now you, uh, whatever value is there it will go to our C sharp code and it will be determined whether it's true or false which means it's an even or odd so we need to assign an output we are returning output as a true boolean true or false so let's create a boolean var uh, variable <coughs> uh, is even let me uh, name it like is even Select create and now uh, let's uh, create an if else condition over here so if if we get the output as uh, true so let me check boolean condition if if true um, if our variable that is uh, that the variable which we are retrieving from here is even if equals to true let me check if there is a variable yeah is even is equals to true then we will write a display a message box stating that it's an even number okay it's an even number or else we will write here oops yeah else copy this message paste it here it's an odd number so this is how our bot structure or bot logic would look like let's run this we remember we have passed number nine so it's an odd number we should get false as the result and the message should be displayed it's an odd number so let's wait for the result we got this result it's an odd number now let's run this program one more time with the values uh, changed so in the input we will pass let's say 6 so this is an even number we should get this time true from the our dot net code and it should display this is an even number bot is running and we got this 
message it's an even number so this is how guys you can build your custom code in dotnet uh, using c sharp or vb whatever language you prefer and this is how you can build a class library and utilize this in dll package of e360 so hope you like this video if you have any doubts or if you are facing any challenges while practicing this code or while uh, while building your custom logic you can comment down below this video we'll be more than happy to help you if you like our videos please do share with your friends please subscribe to our channel that's all for now thanks for watching